uh, Thursday, September 20. Dang it, bro! I started this series on the 22nd of September. The day before, we were celebrating. Oh yeah, 20, 20 for September. Oh yeah, that song. You know, Earth, Wind, and Fire. No, nobody. Okay. And then we started again. Wait, hold on, hold on. He's always important. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Uh, okay, Super Smiles. Walking is now part of curriculum at some private schools. Stop workplace racial profiling the Orchidash Workers Union demand. We still have brain. Make peace. Peace blank. Okay, okay. I feel like some of this is gonna be important down the line. That's just what I'm feeling. So, so I'm getting in my info. Freya! On this guy, we pray. There's no one. Welcome. Yo. In the varsity. A cup of honey milk, please. It's like a. Milk, please. Ah, sorry. What kind of milk do you want? 
Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? Nope. Milk and nothing else. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> milk for the lady with the pretty smile hey thank you i'm gonna end this stream let the room go down to a reasonable temperature and then i'm gonna play mario maker thank you are you hitting on an underage girl i can't just be like damn why you gotta make it like that i was just giving her a compliment bro chill thank you for the compliment like damn me Really good. You're welcome. What's a girl like you doing alone this late? She, I, I don't know why. G girl on the far right, I'm vibing with so much. I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown up who can take care of herself. That sound like a, sound like a pretty childish thing for me to, to hear. Just saying. Or you don't look like a girl. I'm 18. Bigger. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's exactly what I call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Let me get out the. Let me get out the air. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this vitamin, vitamin C because I'm gonna need the the help I can get. I don't even need to eat it, bro. That, that stuff hit. Besides, I've been earning a late. I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. What you do? So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. What you do? How? I'm sure you know. Err, er, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If it's something illegal, I'm waiting for the twist. I'm waiting for the catch. Or if you are in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you never see me on TV or on social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Snob. Part of the, part of the broke but woke movement. You must be the broke part. You ain't gonna talk. Then on the guidelines. Energy God. Energy. I don't want a two people because that's my girl. That's my home girl. Home girl got it. She got it. She the she the actual dope got this. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What two broke for a cup of coffee? You better Why are you laughing? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, did this coffee shop survive without me? What are you writing for, Grandma? Take your order. Or a May Cafe experiment or something? So what you went to order? Usual. At this point, I got her. Triple espresso. Brian, don't even get like, it to you. Can I draw? Okay. Fine. Your espresso's ready. Mm. Good as usual. Glad you like it. Wait a minute. You look familiar. That concern look scares me. I don't know why, it just scares me. Are you in a pop group? Are you? Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smile who just graduated? Is this the one that just left the th The paper that they- I just read. 
Okay. So the pop grew, but then you gotta take, I gotta take into consideration the whole paper. It's telling me. It started her solo career. Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Drinking milk. Serious. But you can't see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird Oh well, we do a lot of one. Well, while we do a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we had a famous celebrity visit. Yeah, to drink milk, no less. Yeah, yeah, she been up. The fuck is that? <laughs> how did how did she do that? How did this? She... No, fuck the music. Where'd you go? Hold on, what the fuck was that? Oh my goodness, bro. What in the name of everything? Please hide me back, Sonny. Please, I'm scared. I'm very scared. I, I want to go back to my corner. I, I don't like that stuff. What in the name? <laughs> no, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know. The usual young folk problem. I had a fight with my father. And so here I am. He has like a very like, he's very like, like that age stubbornness of 18. And I have, I know people just like that. I'm not gonna say it. They are, because I'm a person. Let me all know. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you be out alone this late? You need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Now I'm really worried. What's someone gonna do to a cat? What'd they do out here? Anyways, what happened? My dad got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. Of being a solo pop artist? He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I like. Do what you like to do. And plus, this profession isn't bad. If it's a solo career music, that pop music, I, I just say go with what you like to do. Just be smart about it. Do what you like to do, but be a logical person about it. Not a logical person, but that doesn't change the fact that you can learn. Learn from grandma and all that and stuff like that. What about your mother? What are her thoughts about your career choice? Yes, I'm presuming. She passed away a few years. Sorry to hear that. All right. Your dad knows anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. I'm imagining what he looks like. I don't like the look. <laughs> There's a fourth person? What in the four <laughs> That's my dog. What's up, Jordy? Good evening, Sonny. Good evening, girl I never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Getting free. Anyways, Sonny. Yeah, Jordy? I need something for my sore throat. Can you, can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Uh, a brother with That's my dog. Green tea, lemon, honey. Eat lemon honey. I got you, brother. On oh, God, bro. On oh, my mom's man. We got. I got you, bro. This for this for Thanksgiving, y'all. Yep. I don't know why there's a trash option in the X5. Midsummer Night Dream. Look at a name for every coffee. You know this person been up making this game, creating the coffees as it's going on. Lord is really my dog, Big G. Hmm. Doesn't even look close to what I ordered. Oh well. Wasn't that green tea? Didn't he order? Am I tripping? Bro, 
my bad. I'm so sorry, bro. Hard a mistake. Never mind. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, witness something scary on my ship today. Tell me, tell me. Sure, you want to hear it? Yes. <laughs> the scary thing I witnessed was myself. I like Jory's commentary. I like his jokes. I like his jokes. My salary. I said, oh, I felt that, brother. I felt that. Seriously. Yeah, today's payday. I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. We're almost passed out. Bro, I almost died. Other than that, in the labor union protests, everything's fine. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy your time. Huh? He just kind of sat in and just kind of like, this is an interesting spot. She might be back later. And she's like, this, kinda, this spot kind of interesting. What the hell was that? He sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal. I'm sure that's pretty normal in the coffee shop. I mean, I always do that when you're writing. I guess you're right. Yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, he's just vibing. I mean, I'm a vibe. Oh, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? Pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. This place looks cl cozy. I see. So, you basically wanted... You, you basically wanted to go to a bar? You're underage, right? How? How did you know? Reading out. And read minds now on that. Now they talk calling Bimbo. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. Everything's gonna be okay. You forget about your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to it's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That's exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Put yourself tight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much more safer already. That's my dog, bro. He, he rocking the fro. I already. That's. <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving, bro. I'm telling you. He's already at the cookout. You know what yourself, Freya? This place is very safe. His thing is gonna haunt me in the back of my head for a while, cause I'm I'm gonna have to look at this whole thing. And be like, what the fuck happened? Right, Officer Jordy? Of course, it's the safest play around here. Okay, that endorsement come with a discount. What? Look at me that way. You're a cop. Act like one. We deal with crimes in public. How should I know how to handle how should I know how to handle someone? Why is the font different? Are they whispering? <laughs> Bro, like, I don't care. Go to sleep. You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh. <laughs> right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyways, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and, my, me and my daughter fight every day. Why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought with a lot of my kids. If they ain't kid, he beats the ass. <laughs> if they ain't kid, he beats his ass. If they older, he probably still beats the ass. <laughs> you know, he don't look the part as a kid. You know, he, he he's a probably a very soft-hearted dude, but when push comes to shove, 
he will swing. <laughs> That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we come closer as a family, because that's how family is, bro. Me and my niece used to fight all the time. We was, that was the older one. I used to be, I used to be, I used to be, I used to be evil. <laughs> I, used to, I used to sometimes do bad things to my niece, but then like, you know, sometimes she do bad things back. Probably not as much, because she was younger and stuff, but um, every, every time something like that happened, we bond more as a, more closer and stuff. We played Minecraft Terraria, bro. That's one of those treasure moments of my life. I will never switch up. And now that I'm older, we're both older and a lot more, like, actually logical in our mindset. I treasured every moment that happened and stuff, because it brought us to where we are now. Love you, Leah. Mm. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them. They learned something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Night was just was one amongst countless times. It wasn't like this before. Before it happened? You mean before your solo career? No. Before mom passed. Yeah, I figured. What happens after each fight? Nothing. Just don't talk about it. I think if I ever... I don't get into arguments like that. I kind of... I used to want to talk. I just hope I keep... But that coffee like... Bash back. Until another fight starts. All problems are dangerous. I just found out what this reminds me of. And I'm not going to say it because it's the personal issue. It ain't easy. We gotta understand each other better. As much as I hate to admit it, conflicts is always the best way to know someone. That's very true. In your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was it wasn't known. She, was only, she was the one who understood me. She also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom had ar also had arguments. But your mom acted as a meditator in the two. That's possible. Mom's gone. I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. Dad has lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. Did this it happens a lot? Why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. His hands on you? I need the cop on you? Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who's always ran away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. <laughs> Freya can't believe what she witnessed, but Rachel Bobbin. As soon as I heard he had a daughter, I it was like, we're gonna have this talk, aren't we? My job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I don't understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran when I was young, ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It happened. You asked to run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. She vibing. They, everyone vibing. We all vibing, bro. I'm still in the back making some coffee and stuff. It's going to look really, really good. <laughs> I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. <laughs> Freya, give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. Try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. Don't sure about that. Just take your time. It's only five. No. Now, now I recommend you to go home. It's really late. I need you to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But, you don't even talk to your father right away. Go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. Right, really, this the right music. This the right, you know, bro. You doing good, bro. I, you know, I'm, I'm, 
I'm just saying, you may get a maybe. Yeah, I don't know. This 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 shop ain't it's kind of popping off, but ain't pop popping off. We got a celeb. All right. You know there was probably a person that took a picture in the background. You really are a cop, Jordy. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? The western part of Neko Town. <laughs> Oh, that's my car. They're gonna drive me home, right? Oh man, of course I will. <laughs> that man, that man, gas about to be empty. He was just talking about his salary. He about to be like, bro, I might have to live in this car. What the fuck you mean? Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? Keep it eco-friendly. 100%. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Sunny and Freya. She winked, and she, she went from insulting her to being like some actual life advice. You know why? Because they actual adults. Oh my. I don't look. <laughs> 20. Take care, of, take care on your way home. See you around, Sunny. I'll see y'all later. It's always gonna end with Freya. It's always gonna end with Freya. It's gonna be some. Watch, someone's gonna be the last person. I'll be like, oh, there they went. Yeah, you can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. Juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? You're a boss about publish publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go on vacation and finish your novel. Oh, I hate when they talk like that. You know what? No. I'm not gonna go on my vacation and finish my novel. I'm gonna finish my novel and use that money to go on vacation. How about that? In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. Never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, pressure. I'm sorry about one thing though. The coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. But yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you, Freya. The day Freya ain't here is the day I'm scared. I bet it is. Okay, then take care. This game don't feel like that game, but this game also ain't denying that possibility. Um, I low key want to record Bitter Heart Shadows that will help you. Okay, I would do another day just because I could do that two hour mark and I could just cut it in. I will cut it that day. Friday, September 25th. Today's a I read everything. The Orcus Workers Union talk with the government over their pleas. Yes. Rap group Street Orchestra question over their pro eco-terrorism lyrics. Oh, so they got some controversial lyrics. Uh that means they don't they help that means they don't care what they say, bro. If it's good, if it has some good pl plot points, then yeah. Werewolf active Werewolf activists in prison for owning illegal Come again? Let me, let me read this right. Wait a second. Werewolf activists in prison for owning illegal furious sedatives. Sedatives. I gotta hear that. I don't. I haven't said that like it never. Start the. Do I actually have the cut? Oh, okay. Gonna be Freya or is it gonna be Hey what's Good evening, Hyde? What's up man? Evening. Are you by yourself tonight? Cow is coming. After his shift. Pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something you, something wrong? Nothing. It's strange that you're saying our. When obviously there's only you here. Oh my god, who do you think works the DJ? And it can't be me, bro. I am. It ain't me. My phone right here, but it ain't on shuffle just yet. Even though the game 
not like they have anyways oh i guess it's just me but when i'm working i always put myself as a barista and the coffee shop yeah he loyal to the shop that's my i see anyways i need to order something what do you want to drink tonight and i'm reading this one hmm. you have any blood hmm. uh sorry sorry sir but we come on did you think i was I think I was serious. Oh, nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Green tea. Make sure give me ginger green tea make sure it's warm and bitter perfect like Mr. Gala are you? Hell no. I can never imagine myself doing something so something as honorable as that. Oh God, Hyde, I like you man. I like God too. I like but I like Hyde right now. Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? Not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean not an evil job or Per se, he's a wrong, he said he was a Roman model. On, I didn't even. Do they tell me what the other? Does it tell me what the other gal is? Nah. Oh, so that's her. That's her. That's her group. We're not February contact friends only. I like these little drawings of them. That's freaking fire, man. I'm gonna check the brew pad. I just want to see what I've got new. Cappuccino, Italian delight, dark chocolate, a warm and calling, blacker than a moonlight night, or hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's all for you right there. Ginger latte, warm energy boost perk for a cold evening. Green light. Ah, that undiscovered look good though, bro. I'm telling you, that stuff gonna be slap. I, I. I'm my bad. I didn't mean to my phone. Let's continue this conversation. So it's not an evil job, but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. There's normal jobs. There's normal jobs. It doesn't have to be not bad. You said, and what is it? Yes. Travel a lot, or less. Friended a startup. We friended a startup founder. Oh, he really digging it. So I assume you either have your own startup, or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, that startup founder, he's just a friend. And what do you do? I have many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. Right now, I'm a model. I wish I didn't read it so, so, um, suddenly when I learned that I could. But you know, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Didn't expect that, even though I already read it on my phone. <laughs> But she has a looks and figure, so I guess that makes sense. Do I know a secret? About what? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. No way. They using they using the abilities to their abilities. I English that all wrong. We are naturally good looking. By my neck, then I'm about to look. No, because I want to go outside. <laughs> Skin pale, paler than an elf, but we don't have the annoying pointy ears. Makes us basically. That's how you don't like them. Bunch of good looking living mannequins. I like I like him because he got some. It looks like he got a little meat on his bones. So, like, 
you know, he, I mean, he's recently started dieting and stuff like that, so, you know, he's got to get that figure down, but, I, you know, the little meat on the bone will look, look at fire and stuff, I'm just saying. He got the sharp look, he fought, uh, he killed it, he killed the game. I better the Amazon anti-age product than with people who naturally don't age. Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> I'm being naive. Truth is a matter of truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. Huh. I've saw stuff like um how they how they how they commercialize making like food look good, like pizza, for instance. If you watch like a little Caesar Domino's commercial, they pull the pizza up very slowly. It looks very cheesy. Um, from what I've seen, there's different. There could be different ways how they do these advertising. That makes sense. They made they framed it where like they put like add like I think glue and they mix it with something else within the cheese so it sticks while you pull it up so it looks nice. And I'd be like, okay, okay, that look kind of good. I'm gonna have to give you one of those. The pizza come in and you be like. For me, I don't care about the look. The pizza good, the pizza good. As long as it don't look like it's just been ran over or just been massacred, I'm full, I'm cool with it. Because I want to massacre the pizza myself. Anyways, I don't even matter like, oh, not long. Not much more than 30. You realize I'm a human? I presume I'm a human. You realize I'm a human, dog? Innocent smile. Look at that innocent, natural smile on her face. I'm about to rip that shit apart. <laughs> Either extremely excited or super stressed. <laughs> Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyways, who are you talking about? We're talking Mr. Hyde's profession. What is your profession, dear sir? A model. He's been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current license and clothing brand that I work with. The daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Okay. Usually I work until, until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, I'm Freya. How's the writing so far? Okay. This song, this whole coffee shop give me the mentality of the song um, Piano Man by Billy Joel. Because life's just gonna life. Why don't we just, why don't we just enjoy this moment together? You depressed, you sad, you this, you that, life sucks, why don't we get a drink? Like, that. that's why it's a very well acclaimed song. The, the message behind it, because no matter who you are, we're all dealing with life more than others but how it is sing us a song the sunny man i'm stuck in here i need a warm drink so bring me something please coffee nah i need to take it slow tonight give me something warm and sweet without coffee 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 <laughs> warm and sweet without coffee Thank you. 
we would shoot up. That's my girl. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So, not fantasy or sci fi? I'm not sure. Probably be the normal slice of life. Uh, tough competition. Not wrong. Probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set up a world where only human. Oh, that'd probably suck. I don't know. Sounds a bit racist. I, for, I keep forgetting there's... That's the twist. It's not about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, bonds will still appear in any... I like how they just twisted this up. I like how they did this. Discrimination and racism will still... <laughs> this game's a master, please. I don't care. This game is too great. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I, oh, this is the best thing ever on earth. Oh, my heart is completely um. Yes. How? How can they be racist without other race? Different in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. Everything's the same, the smallest difference was. Perhaps its diversity can teach us to look past the differences. Wow, us humans is actually show you got. Oh. Bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I'll assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, that's fan it's fantasy. That's what fiction is for, anyway. Hating the what ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly and I'll fly back here to have it signed. Oh, thank you. Who is that? Who is that? I'm excited for Pete Faces now. Hey, it's on the first episode! What's good, Lua? Hi everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? You know, at this point, I shouldn't be. I should just. I should just respond like I would normally. Great, thanks. Well, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Melua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I need to escape from my coworkers, so I decided to come here instead. Bailey, coming? He looks so done. My dog looks so done with life right now. The guy fucking damn it's the agency. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Everything okay? To be honest, we haven't 
talked much since the other day. We shall fix that with a warm green tea. Good idea, thanks. In the mood for a green tea latte? Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. And a cup of green tea latte, please. waiting the beginning of this stream She didn't like it. I was like, bro, I just made it. I read it. I followed the instructions. Y'all saw it. <laughs> like, this drink feels really heartwarming. I'm oh, pretentious. I think drinks have the power to connect people to hearts. It's my intention. No. <laughs> surprisingly, that's surprisingly deep for a cup of coffee. By the way, about Bailey, has he visited his place again after our last meeting? I'll let think of uh, hasn't. Oh, yeah, he's done. Behind, behind me, he's done. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about that. This is Bailey person you keep mentioning. Bailey is, or was, I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight days ago. About what? Race. Gave her him the ass like that? 
I guess it's the energy. It's the energy of the spot. This energy feels like a safe spot for like people to come in and talk about their life. That's practically what the game is. I'm like, more to it? No, that's why I'm keeping my eye appeal to this. I got the Shari gun. Man. I'm just a customer. You're the owner. No problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. That's another thing I want to check after this. Hmm, the usual race problem, man. What? Couple of questions he's doing. He, he ain't scared to ask tough questions. We need some people like that. Alright. They and I have different views. My family is pretty close and you usually they're supportive. When it comes to dating, oh, I fear that I'll be treated like a like a peasant. Bailey on the other hand, Bailey feels <laughs> those are a well respected elven family. They could be cagey at times, I get it. But for whatever reason he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. It don't sound like Oh, suck you by, I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with it? Maybe we should just keep going. Oh, this is, this is gonna be the closure. This is gonna be the damn closure. Like how we, like uh, how Jordy did with, um, girl. The pop star girl. Just, just name, name with eyes we've last 10 years. So you've been together for 10 years as a couple. Guessing that both of you just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years, that was without family approval, right? Well, yeah. But I want a relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did they agree with the idea of marrying you? Not quite the, no, quite the opposite. He wants to marry me. Problem then. Not that simple. Family will disown him. Nah. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family. Yeah. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Thank you! <laughs> Hi, you my dog right now, bro. You the goat of this night. It's like, this is exactly what I was talking about the first time when they came in on that first episode on my video. Ah, uh, you all right, my guy. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't even indifferent at you at first. I was just like, a, oh, okay. You look like he not gonna lie to this place at first, but I'm, he vibing, he here. Just marry him, make a family of your own. It's not that so shit. <laughs> Freya said, oh. Oh, she said, oh. <laughs> it's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets the decision one day. Don't focus. You're going you're gonna to say it. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. Now to the family, I'm not going dis- to agree with my morals like that. No, no, no. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? If he was just talking about he don't like his family like that, like... There's people that like, you know, they family's family, bigger than blood, I get that. But then, you know, it depends on the family, because some families, it's it's not that easy. I got a family that I know I could do I could do the most stupidest thing. We still gonna be blood at the end of the day. That's my family, my right of the dots. I can take that kind of responsibility, but you shouldn't have to worry about this dude is here, he's gonna speak for me. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Cool, uh, did you ever think about the risk when you started dating him? Yeah, you know, maybe a little bit. We, don't, we didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> but what I can see, you're the problem here. Pretty greedy fool. I did a 180 and I didn't know if I was, if he was going to do this or not from the beginning. Holy shit. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Damn, family is brutal. If you're asking me for racial consolation, might as well ask for a world peace. Old man, stop talking. Though, so if I might ask, you want to marry Bailey? I 
love him, of course I do. Even so, this dude is so done with everything. Even so, I can't let it let him leave his family. Don't dodge the question, do you love him? It would be selfish, because I can't do it. I can't do the same thing. I love my phone. Dude, you gonna pick up that phone or what? Oh my god, bro. I love my family so much, no matter how messy things are. Oh, that's difficult. Or you're forcing your forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not even family is worth fighting for to come. Some are, not his. Have you ever met? Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They always reject the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. And Freya is not even gonna be in this at the end of this. Like she is so. <laughs> you can't have it all, lady. And it's not a fairy tale. You know what? I already said it. He he talks he talks a tough talk, but he talks facts. Life ain't gonna be that easy. You can't have it all. Okay, okay. Hi, you you back you back in the bandwagon, bro. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. He just cut it deep, though. That's the thing. I'm not as cold as he is, but he's spitting. He's spitting, bro. He should make a rap album. That's crazy. Have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is best for you. Pretty simple. I. <laughs> she said, says I. You gonna have to go? I'm sorry, I have to leave. Yeah. I hate to be the girl who always runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Ms. Lua. I will. Bye. Oh, uh, you know, I like, okay. Hi, you, I'm rocking with you a little bit. <laughs> I'm afraid of eight. You were super harsh, old man. <laughs> you agree with me, don't you? Yes. Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself, anyways? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. That's him! Oh, there he is. Big dog. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. He do it this time. I'd stated facts. Spin facts. What you mean? He spit facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> he don't just state them. He spit them, bro. I swear to God, I'm waiting for that album cover. He got the model body, so he go. He go a little crazy, bro. He's gonna talk monotone and spit heat, bro. Harshly, no one that needed it. I'm, I'm the way you said it. I wonder how she gonna take it. I really do. Let me order a drink first. Then you fool us talk about what happened. What will we have this evening, my dog? You are my fury remedy. I mentioned it a couple of days ago. One with ginger and caffeine. Yes. You know, we try to figure out what, what it is. Sir, sure. I try mixing a ginger with tea. Yes, tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might. Be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with. You'll know when you get it right. Ginger latte. That's coffee. That man gonna cuss at me the moment I say. Oh, okay.
Love under the bright moonlight, believe her in a life. I'm a big fan of art and poetry. What am I doing in my life? Working nine to five in a trading company by day, going to poetry readings. Yeah. Okay. Friday evening. Coffee, coffee, coffee. In case you didn't get it at first. Get it the first time. I'm a big fan of Nyman and Hockman. So there's that. I like Tomodachi. I like. Dude, this whole spot nice. Dude, I really like Jordy. He 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 act like a dad in these pictures. Like he he don't hide. Close friends only. What would the last one be? Okay, let me attempt to logically think about this, even though it's probably not gonna work. Um, it's gotta be something soothing. Unless, yeah, ginger tea and coffee, so it can't. I wonder if I could put honey in there. I think honey. Do you like honey? Because if. Want caffeine in it. Never quit. I just want to inch it. All I need to be sweet. E. Ginger. I'm thinking. It might be young. Yeah, it's cool. I'm thinking it might be honey. I honestly think it's honey. Want me to find out? Is it achievement of Doc? Is this it? Hmm. It's not. Not the rodeo. I'm more interested in the story. Anyway. One of these days I'll get it. It might be a bitter one. That might be the thing. When he said I'm a hundred percent, I'm like, it's not it. You're better storyteller than me. I like how his hands naturally pointing that way already. All right, so there's this girl. Oh, Storyline, and that's about it. Ah, Lee, got luck, got Lee. Hide or hide, never change, do you? So, oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now? I don't know, Sonny may not say it, but Sonny gonna say it. Oh, Sonny gonna say it. Dude, honestly, dude, honesty is good and all, but, you know, try not to be a dick. <laughs> Let's dirt hide. Got a good point. Ugh. That's you too. I was a bit surprised. I like the, the maturity. He's been around, he's been around probably, see, the Bill's been around, I'm pretty sure he's been around longer, so he knows, like, he, he, knowledgeable in the brain, but he also don't care, because he also, old. so I, I, I get that mentality a little bit, I'm not, I'm not old that, oh, no one is old, <laughs> I was a bit surprised though, usually, you don't bother with this kind of thing, I've seen you actively avoid it, <laughs> You know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. Eh, I'm only. I don't know why I get involved in why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe of this place has seeped into me. What have I been saying this whole time, bro? This whole vibe is something that you feel like a safe place in. DJ Sunny got. A DJ the other guy too, but like DJ Sunny got you. I understand. This place does have that special magic. 
not exactly a good magic, just from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are way better. But there are way better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyways, I got to go. She leaves first. I saw the best video on my phone. <laughs> No life shack plays a horror game. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I like it just popped up just now, and I cannot wait to take a break, watch that video, and get scared with it. I'm gonna give me a snack, but it's beside the point. Past midnight. It's six in the afternoon. Damn, time is flying by real quick. I gotta go feed my dog. <laughs> I need to get some sleep. Here we're on your way, Freya. Bye. See you guys. The boys. It's just the boys, uh. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What do you want to talk about when you told me, told me to meet? That's the... Yeah, that's the surest way to make you come out. I thought the story for Freya was enough. Oh, your daily dose of interaction. <laughs> Oh, it was. Something indeed. Hmm. That's the thing about my you about being my friend for years? Yeah, why? You ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? I remember bumping into this the first time. Let me hear what this one is. I might listen to this while I feed my dog. Come closer or read me I'm saying hold on. Pretend I'm screenshotting on my phone, but in actuality. That is a whole bop. Okay, let me get back to this game. <laughs> Story would go differently. Forget it. It's late, anyways. I need to get back. Huh? All right, Sonny. Thanks for the evening. Pleasure was mine. Bye. Right. See you, man. You brought this dog here to tell a story and do. What was that? I'm better than I do, Gala. Here for another drink to end the day. <laughs> Sir. Right? Sweet and memorable like the summertime blue. And I'ma end it there. I, I it, this room is gonna burn me alive. I can't do it. Saturday. I'm at work. My has my friend's birthday in this day. Let me read this though, these are important. Atlantic counties plead for landfill to send help instead of, of trash. Atlantic counties plead for land folks to send help for the trash. Opin opinion. Who watches the Watchmen in Seattle? Like the Sidemen, but no, I'm skin. Cats are the best creatures on earth, researchers have proven. Oh, I know this one filled me. Welcome. Oh. Whoa! You was just on the album I was just vibing to. I'm gonna save the game and do this another time. Holy shit. Save it again. Oh my god. They got a picture for everything? Whoa! A whole ass astronaut. Whoa! Alright, I'm gonna take a break. It's hot in here. I need to let the room cool off. I'm gonna go give me some to, um... I'm gonna feed my dog. I'm gonna feed me because I wanna watch a video while I... Eat, and then I'll be back and we're gonna play some Mario Maker. How's that sound? No idea matter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.